Yeah, and that top nice. Ice 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 died again, and he's gonna go down again for the second time right here. Both supports are in position, and that's the third time they've killed him now. And meanwhile, in mid as well. Wow. Resolution's gonna drop too. So this is what Vichy needs. Step back into this game and how he spotted out, but they don't have vision of him, and he's just kind of skittering in and out. And Aloha Dance is getting quite low, but he does have the level six. Yeah, which means that Ulti can lock out in position. Is there enough damage or can they attack? This not enough. <laughs> they gotta get the bug. Get they gotta get the <laughs> 14 HP. He survives. Looks like Empire want to get into this fight, knowing that Ice 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 is dead, but. Oh, they're gonna get the glimpse on Super. That's big. If they can control him long enough, the familiars are coming back in again. Super, low on life, and uh, there goes your Aegis Immortal. No Requiem in time, and also no protection. The mech's already been used. They lose the side two, and now Super. More control, a double stun, but he's down for the count. The Jarrah will take the kill with the call down and Black Cannon. Everything's turned on. Resolution, I mean, that's absolutely worth it right now to be able to open up the high ground for the next push that's they're gonna coming. They're going to try up. and fight this. Look, look for the pickoffs. Clockwork still got his hook shot available. He jumps up on top of Sam for the four stuff up. It was actually getting him away to safety. And now Ice 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 locked inside that disruptor Aldi. But Super with a BKB winding up his own ultimate. Sam's already got his own BKB up, so he's in effect, unaffected by this. But Silent Super man mode this up. There's no more help. Or actually, there is from Yoki. And now in from Fenrir. They both end up exploding. While Yoki, the familiar to bring him down, is a two on two situation until Silent comes back to the world of living. The Aegis model will help him out. But it's Hal who's the last man standing. So the two primary cores, familiar to help out. Now he's got bugs in him. The time lapse allowing how to keep battling here and Silence losing armor very, very quickly. The familiar can't catch up to him because the phase boost. Now he also triggers the drum charge. They just keep chasing negative 15 armor. That's why the Gemini attack did so much damage. Now he finally gets rid of the bug, but how? He could potentially Shikuchi up, but Resolution's here. Familiar, it doesn't get the drop down. The other one's coming in, but it'll also drop as well. Empire can contest it. Oh, and Empire no isn't in position. In mid, so they have no idea. <laughs> this Aegis and Cheese belongs to VG Gaming. And Ice 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 jumps up. It's more of a cog block right now. As Silent on the wrong side of it. The Rocket Mirage still hitting very heavily into Ice Ice Ice. He will eventually drop in the core down doing his work. Super again with his ultimate. Yule Set will end up saving Yoki as he blink daggers up onto the high ground. Now oh, he's going to go down. Never got the cheese off. Super will break the Aegis. And what looked like a fantastic steal is now going to be another horrible fight for VG Gaming after they take out Roshan. Super dying on one side, and you're gonna bring back Fenrir to die again to the Disruptor. And I don't know how Vici are gonna actually defend this because they're just so far behind in terms of actual net worth, especially after that last fight. They jump up, there's just done into the, into the finger of death. It's gonna go on Silent, but he's still alive and fighting Ice 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 again with these cults, but Silent's BKB protects him. The Weevil will finally end the Disruptor's winning streak and survive through this, and he'll move back over. They're looking for Silent, and this is where the damage can come in. How the Echo Slam controlling up Super, there is the damage from Yoki to find that kill, but how is still battling up against him, and he's not having to worry about the excess damage coming in from the Gyrocopter. And jump up from FY, he was looking for the stun, lost the mana though with a cog burn, it was stolen by always want to fly. If they decide to fight up against Empire right now, they'll probably end up losing one of the tier 4 towers. Ice 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 is bringing the creep wave down, so he's still got himself a jump in. Nice PK from Silent, the oh, voice of Finch, Super the from FY. They just jump in, Super pops instantly. The call down there, and how? Not enough damage just yet. He's gonna have to time lapse himself away as he is chasing after a low heart dance. The committal is so high to kill off the support. Now Yogi as well. How's the primary kill here? And he's gonna go down. No buyback available for this Weaver. He's short by 600 gold. Old. Super has already bought back into this, but he's got a homing missile chasing him. They can't get rid of it in time. The familiar drop down will buy him that extra space as they glimmer him up. He does have the cheese available, so he can turn back into this fight if he wants to. And Radiant's there it is. The BKB is also being attack. triggered, winding up the ultimate, thinking about it. There's the razors. There's number one. There's number two. Dropping silent down, but jumping closer. And it's Yoki back into the middle of the fight. Radiant's That's a double kill for resolution. Attack. And probably, and yes, it is most definitely, GG is the call. Empire will take game Radiant's number one and a two fallen. game lead. So off we go, Team Empire. Like a VG. Let's 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 just kick off this oh, game with a, with a full on fight. Aloha Dance the first one up. And uh, well Yoki was the back, so he's not gonna get not, not gonna get the stun, but there is the glimpse back. FY's first one back with the stormball only connects on the vengeful spirit. Now the double barrel strike. They get the first by low dance. Actually brings it nine by this man in the middle of the fight. He actually doesn't even get the kill for it. And they're chasing deeper for Ice Ice Ice. Got three poison sacks. It's not enough to get the kill. They'll lose the Shadow Demons. That's the first real kill coming the way of VG Gaming as Hal's backing up and Yoki in range of the tower trying to barrel strike away. Not gonna happen now. It's VG Gaming technically two for one. 
one is their advantage. Super right behind him. The Shadow Strike slowing down Sark. Resolution, there's nothing he can do. He's got mana for the axes. He's looking for the pick up for Ice Ice Ice. He won't be able to find it. And now Resolution running the away. Begins. The trees couldn't get in front of him. There's mana for a Lance in maybe eight seconds up I'll against Resolution. Watch. Yoki will take the rune and can turn around for a Burrow Strike. The trees now body blocking him up. It's Ice 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 with the micro. How's going to drop down? There's those axes from Resolution. Find the kill. Yoki still being body blocked up by the trees and they got enough damage. It's actually the treants that do the last points of damage to get the kill. And we'll have six deaths. Just push the lane as quickly oh, as possible. They found always want to fly right now. Maybe that lance is slowing down though. Defensive disrupt is going to stop it from happening. And there's more support rotating in. The disruptor is on the way in. Aloha dance. Can't do anywhere near enough damage to change anything. And Resolution also walking in. This 10 army, the Sonic Wave from Super and M Empire really are going to regret taking this fight. You've got the Wrath of Major popping through. Three players down. Fenrir is the lowest one. He's got Hand of God available. Got Trigger it right now to keep himself alive if he wants to live through this. In fact, he just nukes down Yoki instead. And they're going to take a 4 for 1 trade off. But these treants, you can see him coming in and realize there's trouble. Radiance TP down, how doppelgangering in and some. Trying to hold in the tree line, and now in comes that SK. Into the trees, you can start the episode. A blink fire strike that's controlling super. The BS is swapping out, and there's that hand of God to keep him alive. Yoki hiding inside the sandstorm. The sandstorm stomp was actually off target, but they're going to kill him off anyway. The Sven. The Beastmaster, as well as the FK, do most damage. Now in comes your epicenter, right inside of Oh god, how? He's gonna go down. FY's in three line. How much? You know he stays alive. He doppelganged it up onto the high ground. Roshan's still not dead yet. But the Trump has the ulti and moves up the Aegis. Oh, Queen of Pain. by the Queen of Pain. She'll come back to life again. But for how long is the question? Barra strike in and Super's on the sideline. They know how's on the high ground, but where's the stun? They actually stop it. They actually cancel the TP out. They pick up the PL. And what was a beautiful, beautiful pick for the game number two is now a horrible, horrible image. They have to be careful as Yoki has his ultimate and this is a pretty heavy commitment right now for Vichy Gaming. Do they have any vision up here? They can't get they, caught they, out they by they this again. Him. They actually don't see him up there. They have no idea. So disruption. Yoki's still not repping this epicenter and now just Barra strikes an instant sandstorm. The swap out for FY sacrificing himself raw. Keeps him in range of the static storm. Still not dead yet. The one try to keep him alive, not to mention the strength tread switch, but he's still going to potentially get yeah, he does die. That's the SD. That's fine. The Trump will also drop those of VG gaming. Looking for some uh, some openings until the epicenter will connect. It's a good sonic wave with a centaur stump that he's gone down to super back in the fight. The Lance will kill off Yoki as resolution. Right behind you. One more hit on he Super! He do anything else. So he's going to actually die on this top lane too. So his Ven kills off the Queen of Pain. And Resolution right behind him. What actually happened to Super? He actually just got chased down by Silent. Who has his ultimate popped with the Mask of Madness. And I mean the damage that he's putting out is unreal. And once again Vici Gaming. They had such a dominant start. 7500 gold at what was it 12 minutes into this game. And all of a sudden another 5 man team wipe. It's it's crazy. I can't believe Empire is really doing this. Picks up another kill on the disruptor. Oh, as TP. Well. We've got BTs up for resolution. He goes on the Ice Ice Ice. Necros on Necros. But Ice Ice Ice, he's got a TP call, but it's not quick enough. For the Radiant side, yeah, Yoki. Oh, Epi Yoki. Center. We're going again. Barra Strike on four with the Epicenter. He only got the three. Fenrir was not held on from, in place by this one. But he'll, you'll set the route away from the stun. And in comes Silent. Fenrir trapped inside the pit. And Silent knows it. But then again, the Glimmer Cape is allowing Fenrir to stay alive. But they've got this swap going on. The Disruptor. There it is again from Yoki. Another double. Barra Strike, him with the Sandstorm, it's huge amount of damage, how so low oh, on How's actually gone now? 24 no. HP, he's alive, the capture can't get close enough, Sonic Wave down now, Yoki's on the run out of here, you'll step the rub, Super's now low as well, Yoki in with the Barra Strike, three heroes down, How is still running far west, but what's he gonna do? He can't TP out, he's too low to cross the lines of Empire. Yeah, and he doesn't really know where the wards are right now, so he's really afraid. I can't believe he survived that. And, oh, he actually just dodges if, that out, and if, if he runs into Aloha Dance right now... Oh, he's actually... <laughs> How do you get out of here? He's actually so scared right now because he doesn't understand what's going on. Oh, <laughs> Yoki actually goes the other way, and Hao is kind of stuck in this jungle. He's trying to make a beeline across. He's going to run into this creep wave, but he should be fine. With nowhere near, nobody near him, but again, he's coming for a TP scroll. So worst comes to worst, that happened.
the TPing M. It's B smart with a blink dagger over on resolution. He just goes for the roar on FY and the Necro units. He's got no man to do amp things while the ultimate and Barra Strike, they've found how the epicenter is going to be committed as well because they need more damage in the time and how's going to drop. And well, that uh, momentum you were talking about, moral spirit to keep him alive. I mean, it was there. So. <laughs> I mean, Silence just marching in. He's got his god strength popped as well. The damage is real. Doing so much damage, and Ice 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 might be caught out. No, gets orchided. Aloha Dance wasn't sure about now. The body block with the tree is for super. Oh, 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 oh my lord! He got caught! He got carved up! They have a double buyback with both the PL. Aloha Dance will go down. Hounds is looking for revenge. Silent also too far up, but that's the Agassi Mola triggered for him. Does he still have? He's still got the BKB. If he can get it off in time, in fact, is he waiting for magic missile? No, he just triggers it anyway. Runs out of here. Yoki's out of mana. Hassan, he's just gonna turn and fight in Fenrir. Two swings, can't do the Radiant's job. Blumicate, forcing him to change our targets. Now BG Gaming, they're getting on top of the fight. Silent's getting carved up a new one. It does still cost him very, very heavily. The top rack's being attacked. Fortification's still on cooldown for the moment. Only three more seconds left. It's a range rack. BG Gaming won't want to commit fortified. anything to really defend this. Okay, maybe they will. They actually use the fortification to try and keep it alive. Ice Ice Ice, Ice needs eight fallen. seconds until these necro units are available. And there's no hand of God. Blink Faro. Super's the first man to be called out. VS swaps him back and Super set all the way back to base. So everyone's going to drop here. And they actually glimpse him all the way back in again. He waited perfectly and Super didn't trigger the BKB at the start. So he took a large amount of damage, the Sprout comes in, and the Necro units are battling. They're gonna find always wanna fly, but it's the consolation prize right now for VG Gaming. They didn't want the support, the Kinetic Field holds them out, and the rest of Empire will disengage. Yeah, and Silent has to get out of here. He does have the Quelling Blade. Eating his way through right now is... Aloha. VG Gaming, they turn, Yoki, Epicenter up, it's not enough damage on Howard and FY to get the kill. The Axe are coming in to try and help him out, but with the Necro units down, they can see Yoki, a Yule Scepter up. He needs time for the Blink Dagger, but does not have it, and out of mana for a Burrow Strike. The wall is up, but he still will not be surviving this. Play the positional game if you're Empire. Oh, here they come, Howard's in pretty close, try to pick the kill off the Hawk, and FY, they're in very, very close. Resolution, oh, and that is a big ult, but sounds very, very low. He can't kill off, but then all of a sudden, the epicenter <laughs> will arrive, and life was great. Now Resolution, the secondary raw, he finds how Silent, it looks a little bit risky for him, but now he's gonna be successful. Yogi Burrow strikes up, takes out the chance. Super as well as Ice Ice Ice, Ice will find him, but then again, your Scepter, delaying the timeout. No Burrow Strike, but he's still got cheese available. Defensive Disruption buys them time. Resolution, running out of mana, but the Burrow Strike hit again from Yogi with the Sandstorm. How could nowhere to go? They're locked inside the Kinetic Field. This could be it. The Agency model was already popped, but that's the only thing that's really been lost. Super's gonna lose his life. Silent blinks himself up, looking for the last gift. There goes Super. GG oh is the call. Empire, not Empire. Not only have they beaten VG Gaming, they have whitewashed them in the grand final. That's a 2-0 in the most dominant fashion that you can think of. Vici Gaming had probably the best start that you're gonna see in quite some time, and man, they're just overwhelmed over there as Empire. I mean, give it up for them. They absolutely deserve this win. They should be so proud. The, the way they played, the quality of their supports, and the fact that you're also that far behind from VG Gaming. Like, it was 7.5k behind from VG Gaming, and then you're capable of br not only bringing that back, but so commandingly bringing that back. That, for me, was the biggest thing. Who watched those games? Uh, you guys looked incredible happy yesterday already after you won uh, the first two games against VG. Uh, now you did it again and you came out on top. Did you expect that at all or is that a big a surprise for you guys as well? First note, we are going for top two <laughs> <laughs> this tournament, but uh, we, we was uh, playing so good, so that's why <laughs> That's why you won. Yeah, exactly. So, guys, anything you want to ask? I, I want to ask, how is Aloha Dance feeling after his performance during the tournament? Because I know we're all very, very, very impressed with his Disruptor. So, uh, is, is he, he... was so good at Disruptor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how, how can we be so good on this hero? Uh, did you feel like the other team should have banned Disruptor out after seeing how he performed <laughs> uh, on, on him before that? Of course not. He, he can show best game on... Uh, another support like Rubik or something. I felt like overall, into like going into these two games, I felt like there was not, to me, like personally, there was not one player that really shined, but I felt like the team effort in itself, every single person contributed to this win. Do you yeah, agree yeah. with that? Yeah, I feel so. Uh, watching those games, uh, pretty much everyone here felt like you guys really 
knew how to counter VG in those games. And it really felt like you especially prepared going up against VG. Was that the case? Did you, like, beforehand actually go through replays and make a proper game plan against that no, team? No, we just play in our game, that's all. <laughs> so, seemed to work out for you guys just fine. Uh, so, yeah, that must give you a massive... Uh, confident boost now. Uh, of course, like you guys have been invited uh, directly to TI. Congratulations yeah, <laughs> to that. <laughs> um, how do you feel they're going to place there after you took down the uh, most dominant team at the moment? We'll boot camping like uh, for two months before TI, and I, s I hope so. We will train a lot and uh, can show our best game at in the international.